back on the golf fix. Yeah, this is a little look here at, at a gentleman who's very talented, wedge coach, wedge player, James Ridyard. Just a short little shot, kind of aiming at the flag. Yeah, you betcha. Why wouldn't you hit it off the flagpole? And that guy who hit that shot joins me right now, James Ridyard. It's good to see you, my friend. Thanks for having me, Mark. It's been a Appreciate couple it. years in the in the making. We tried to get this done and tried to get it done, and now we got it done. Finally got here. Yeah. So you've got a lot of things going on. Obviously, you've got uh, the Short Game Secrets videos and those, those things that you're doing as well. You're working with some tour pros on the European tour. This time, however, it's all about them. We want to know, they want to know, how can they improve their short game? Let's first start with chipping, and then we'll get to hit some, some pitching. What are some of the, the things that you stress in hitting a, a good, crisp chip shot? I think the biggest misconception maybe is that people think they need to be very precise yep. with how they hit the golf ball. Yep. And the focus is always on the ball, but my focus with most players is actually on the ground. Okay, how does this club interact with the ground, where and when, and for how long? Okay. Um, but there's an obsession with striking golf ball. I, I see a lot of players so focused on hitting ball then turf that they actually end up doing themselves harm. Okay. Whereas if you have good technique, you could land the club on a dollar bill size area and still hit an acceptable so shot. So you don't have to be that precise no, when you're exactly. hitting these shots. There's a big margin for error. Exactly. So if your technique is good enough, it doesn't have to be excellent. You can get really good outcomes without being precise. So give us a couple of keys. If we're hitting just a little chip shot here, what are some of the things that create a good a good technique? Is there a setup? Do I have to have ball position a certain place? Weight distribution? All these little things. Let me show you the most important thing for me. Okay. And I'm going to use you as a as model. A, okay. What do you want hit. me to do? I want you to stand right there. Okay, I'm standing right here. What I'm going to do is put the club against your chest. Oh, terrific. <laughs> All right. I, I'm glad that happened. No. Wait, does anybody want to volunteer for this job now? You guys thought this was fun a little while ago. No. You want me to puff up the chest or just kind of keep it? You're, okay. You're nice and All flat right, right there. Thank it's you. perfect. Thank you. Now, the biggest problem I see is that people can't control how far away from, the, from them the club head is. Okay. All right, so they hit the ground back here, and they think it's because they're doing this, right? Yeah. But what does this do to the club head? Does it move it away from you or towards you? I don't really know. It's scaring me. That's all I can tell you. How <laughs> am I going to hit you if I do this? That'd no, it's question. going away. Exactly. What's going to happen now if I swing it back and straighten my elbows out? Now it's got a chance to hit me. Exactly. What's going to yep. happen if I do this? That's going to hit me. Exactly. But people are obsessed with trying to keep this kind of angle in there. So you want to let them almost toss the club head. Is that exactly. what you're saying? Precisely. Beautiful. All right. So let's see what that looks like. Shall I show you the bad version first? Okay. Listen, guys. He's showing the bad version. So I just maybe duck down a little bit over there, okay? All right, here we go. Bad so version. these are the guys that are making the radius of their swing wider. Right? Okay. In the effort to drive the club down through the ball into the ground. Okay. But all they end up doing is driving the club down behind the ball. Yep. I've right. seen that a couple times. Exactly. Any of you guys seen that shot, by the way? Nobody does that shot, though, right? No, you just watch that done. But then what do they do to try and fix it? They drive the club more. Even more. They lean it even more. Yep. And that just puts the club further into your chest, right? Which Further is a bad idea. Exactly. I don't like that idea. So I recommend people try and control how far away from them the club head is. Okay. So if they set up with some bend in their elbows, keep the bend in their elbows. If they set up with angle in the wrist, keep the angle in the wrist. I'm trying to keep that club above the surface of the ground as much as possible. And is it is it is it sort of light in the hands and light in the arms and just yeah. kind of fluid exactly. through there? Three out of ten grip pressure. Okay. At start, transition, impact, all the same. Okay. No Terrific. Timing. So let's see a good one here. No pressure. No okay. pressure whatsoever. Three out of ten. <laughs> so I was maybe this far behind the golf ball? Yeah. No but problem. the club kept going. It didn't. The club it didn't stop. Exactly. I wasn't driving it downwards. So there's no fear of hitting behind the ball. No. The, the real thing that we have to do is we have to make sure that that head continues to travel. One of my favorite drills is to ask people to hit the ground behind the golf ball. So when they go, when they're setting up, if the ball is is right here, as long as they hit somewhere in here, we're going to be okay. Yep. They could be anywhere from two inches back to almost an inch ahead. Hit a great shot. Perfect. Okay, let's see one more. Then we're going to go take care of some pitching here. So it's a very fluid and, and appears as if there's a, a little bit of wrist action. Let's go over oh, here to the plenty. simulator. Now sure. what we've got is a 50 yard shot. And my assumption is, is that it's somewhat the same. But I didn't hear you talk about ball position. Is that because there's such a margin for error that ball position really can move all over the place and that's fine? Precisely. I, I, I like to teach a narrow stance. 
as a rule, and there's a limit when you've done that to how far back and forward the ball can be. It becomes yep. very obvious when it's out of position. Yeah. So, and because you've got this big margin, you could be a ball too far forward one day, a ball too far back, and still be okay. Still be okay. Man, is that comforting. Those of you at home that you thought, I got to be precise with this, no, no, no. Listen to the man. He's saying, you've got a lot of margin for error here. All right, now let's hit a pitch shot. I mean, a, a 50 yard pitch shot. I'm going to put you behind there. What are we doing in this? A little wider stance, maybe? A little bit wider, slightly longer swing. Same principles to control the golf club against the ground. Same idea. Okay. Um, there'll be more speed, more dynamics. So you have to try and deal with those a little bit. Yep. You may get some ground interaction after the golf ball. You're not going to bruise the turf on this length of shot. You're going to start to take some kind of divot. Okay. But again, you can give yourself margin. Perfect. So we got a target out there at 50 yards. I hit it in there every time. I don't know about what you've got going on, but let's see how that rolls. How much you're going to play for? <laughs> Never bet another man's bet. Okay, you got. We got to give you one more here. So, 50-yard shot. But so it's very free. It doesn't yeah. look like your weight distribution is left or right. You're kind of centered in here, and then it's almost, it's it's a smooth sort of wristy kind of. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like there's tension. Exactly, because I'm confident. I, I know that I can hit it poorly and still get a good outcome. Result well. All right, last one, 50 yards. Okay, there's your target. A little bit more speed on this one. Yep. Get up. Oh, good spin, though. Hey, James, I really appreciate it. That was worth Thank the you. way. we got to have you come back Thanks, next Michael. week. You're going to see me to keep you back <laughs> Anytime. Here. Hey, we come back. I've got another expert for you. We're going to talk a little bit about how to putt better. This guy, he only helped Justin Rose and others. David Orr is his name, and he's going to be with us next. David, good to see you, my man. Great shirt, by the way. Well done. Well done. James.